Today, we are at a Buddhist temple in San Diego. Here's the name of it, actually. Yeah, here's gonna be a name. Wat Lao Badharam of San Diego. And we got permission to video and walk around. The guy who gave us permission, I don't think he understood us, what we were saying, but he did say yes. Yeah, everybody's really friendly. They, yeah, to be honest, friendly. the English level isn't great, but I think that's pretty authentic, so. Yeah, when we got you here- this is Cambodian? No, I assume it's Laotian because of the Lao, but I don't know. It could be anything. Um, actually, I bet we could get it out of that guy. But yeah, the guy who speaks English for the community here, he was uh, leaving as we pulled in. So they tried to get his attention, but he left. Excuse me, sir. Um, are you guys uh, Lao? Cambodia? You Lao? Okay, so you guys are all, everybody? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I think everybody here is in the ocean. We, we tried to ask if they do like services. I don't, we don't really know much about Buddhism uh, or like especially Laotian Buddhism, but. Hold on, stop right here. So one thing I'm gonna say is we don't know any Buddhist cultural norms or Laotian Buddhist cultural norms. So if we're doing anything that's offensive, we don't know and they are unable to tell us. So if we walk in here with our shoes, which we're about to in video, which we're about to, if that's not allowed, they said we could. <laughs> Let's so, take off our shoes. I don't know if we I have to. I think we to. should. He's There's wearing no... flip flops, so I think we should. Oh look, yeah, we just got confirmation. Right. There we go. So up out here is the flip flop point. Oh my gosh. It looks outrageous. pretty crazy in here. Pretty outrageous. I kind of want those. Those look nice. I kind of want those sandals so much. Those are nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. go ahead. I was going to do something crazy, but I think I should This is a lot bigger than I expected. Oh my god, look at this. Yeah, exactly. This is very intricate and impressive. Yeah, it is. It's beautiful. I wish it was a little better lit. Oh, I'm gonna turn on light. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, well, asking you shall receive. Yeah, the Buddha delivers, I'll say that. Excuse me, uh, the gong, can, can you? Can we hit it? Can, can, can you hit it? Yeah. Okay. We can? All right, thank you. Here, go ahead. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, that's really cool. You want to go? Yeah, here, let me hit this one. <laughs> right on. Oh, you hit in the middle? Oh, okay. You want, could you show us? Could you? Did you show? You, you hit, you hit. Professional. He speak English? Okay. What's up? Hello. Oh, hi. What's up? Uh, are you guys Laotian? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. We're trying to figure out what kind of Buddhist temple this is specifically. It's a, it's a lot of Buddhist. Yeah, there's a lot of different types of Buddhists. Yes. Uh, we assumed it was Laotian because uh, it says Lao. Oh, like a lot of people come here that are different types of Buddhists? Oh, well, yeah. Okay. Uh, you don't mind if we film, right? We're making yeah. a little video about, like, information. Yeah, about yeah, cool. Okay. What are all these beds set up for? Is this like a... For, like, uh, the people die, right? Like, you have the party or great party and thing die. Mm -hmm. They make a thing for sin to... Oh, okay. okay, so it's, like, family that's died? Or, like, other people who have been, right. like, other Buddhas that have died? Yeah. yeah okay, right. the Buddhas that have died? No, like, your father. Oh, like okay, your father. Mother. Okay. 
they, they do for me. Do you guys do like services or like special events, like call it celebrations? No, not right now. Okay. Scary. Yeah. Okay. All right. Do you guys have like a mantra that you guys say? Or like, what's the difference specifically about Laotian Buddhism? Do you guys do like mantras or? Oh, let him answer. Oh, he's he's okay. tired. Um, is do you guys have like a specific like um a chant you do while you meditate? Yeah, before they do it, but right now. They do, you know. What What's the like chant like a, you guys like say? Thailand, you, you been Thailand? Thailand? No, never. Yeah, Thailand and then here go Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, sometimes Vietnam too. You know, mm-hmm. okay. they have the book in Buddhist. So in Japan, right? They yeah, say Japan too. they say Nam Yo Ho Ring Ye yeah, yeah. What What do you guys say? Namo Tassa. Namo Tassa. So Namo Tassa. Nam. Can you do the whole thing for us? Could you say it? Yeah. Namo Tassa. Akhavato. Arahato. Samma. Samputasa. Oh, that's long. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> when we're looking around here. Um, is there anything specific we should look at because it has like significance, like important? Yeah, you can look at, you know. Um, is there anything really important? Yeah. Very important though? Like is, other than this room, is there other places around here we should go see? Yeah, you can go. You can go. Okay, thank you. Last yeah. question. Mm-hmm. Is there a place for uh, La- Laotian food? Food? Restaurant? Uh-huh. For La- Laotian food? Yeah, they have it. What is it called? You know, like uh, in San Diego, in San Diego, like um, let's see, La restaurant. Let me see. I bet they mostly just eat here. Where do you eat in San Diego for Laotian? Re- do you do you guys eat here? Yeah, eat here. They have people coming to give you food. Oh, you guys give out donation. Food? Thing, no? Oh, mm-hmm. okay, okay. Yeah, the people do donation to you guys. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. No, you can buy, you know, the people, you have, it, you know, the food or something, don't, don't eat. Yeah. Okay. All of these things, do you guys, do you make, can I touch it? No, they mean, you can touch yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you guys make these or do you bring them from Laos and Thailand? No, they make, no, no, they make. They make here? Yeah. You guys make? No, it's just people make. Okay, okay. All right. Wow. Well. Thank you. Mm-hmm. These beds, like they said, represent our, our four family members that have passed. And there's a lot of them here and they're really intricate and they decorate each one. I'm sure they're personalized, personalized a little bit to uh, the person that they're representing. There's a lot of pictures of people around. There's a statue of a Buddhist guy. I don't know if that's the current Buddha or what's up with that? We got really nice chandeliers in here too. It's all beautiful. Nice. So how do you greet each other? Like Sabadi, right? Sabadi? Yeah, Sabadi. Okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. All right. He showed me the food place around here. How do you say uh goodbye? Goodbye. Like La Lacon. Lacon? Yeah. Lacon? Lacon. Okay, Lacon. Like like yeah. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. So, we're back outside of the uh, temple. Hey, come check this out, too. Yeah, we're just going to kind of walk around. Here's a... I don't know if I got a good shot from the outside to kind of show the place. Here you go. We'll kind of look around out here, see what other kind of stuff they got going on at the temple it looks like they've got a a little mural of maybe another temple over here i don't know if that's what this building is based on or something different but here you go another temple i think it is this temple i think it's like a picture of this one that's interesting back here is just their storage like sheds and stuff but they got something interesting over there so go check that out Look, they've got a little fake dog out here. 
I don't want to dox myself, but there's one of those and a house at my street too. The exact same type of dog. Oh, look at that thing. It's like a fountain made out of a girl's hair. I wish there wasn't a plane going directly over us right now. Yeah, it looks like somebody's got a little uh, sacrifice or like an offering to the statue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they sacrificed some uh, yeah, M&M's. <laughs> They also got these cool looking uh, plants with those flowers. Yeah. I definitely don't think these are San Diego native, for sure. So, maybe somebody who's a little bit more educated on Buddhism could uh, enlighten us on this, but this building appears to be filled with uh, replicas or mannequins of animals like a water buffalo, a donkey, a pig, a monkey, a tiger. I don't know what you'd say that is in the middle. Hold on. Excuse me. Can we walk up here? Okay. Um, yeah, there's, there's these. If you know about Buddhism and you know what this means, please do oh, let us know. This thing. this thing must be a demon of some sort. It's gotta be. I, I'm sure this is like, I don't think they have multi gods, but this is probably something that represents animals i don't want to say the god of animals but something that represents over animals uh, the deity of animals i don't know i wonder why this duck one or goose is all taped up garbaged over yeah it's a really nice place here actually All right, guys, so I was pretty far off when I said that that must be a demon of some sort. It's the emblem of Thailand. <laughs> so I don't know why they have this in a Laotian There's... thing, but it's, it's obviously got some sort of deeper meaning. But the more you know, I wish that we knew. <laughs> yeah, let's go look at this statue over here. I, don't I wonder what this flag is. This is a Buddhist flag, maybe? Yeah. I've never seen that flag before. Yeah, I think it's... This is a really cool thing. I mean, oh, they got like a little incense thing out here. Cuffs on it. This is beautiful. Everything here is kind of beautiful, honestly. Yeah, it is. We need more of this. Like, they could make a lot out of this. I think these, by the way, something that's really weird because california is very superficial and like you know everything's like not very deep i think these guys are actual monks like legitimate monks they don't work they just be monks so yeah one of the guys actually told us that um they eat from food that's donated to them yeah so they all have cell phones though so i will say that but they they take food donations and that's how they get their food so if you guys are out here, even if you're not super interested in Buddhism, but you want to come out and check out the temple, these guys would definitely appreciate if you drop them some food, bring some canned goods, whatever you got, maybe some money, put it in the offering box. I'm sure all of it helps out. They've got their, uh, the monks out here actually like sweeping and stuff. And I would assume that because it's a religious order, kind of like the Catholic church, they're probably allowed to bring people in from outside of the country. So I imagine most of these people are actual like Laotians who came here with probably little or no money to work at this um, at this temple. I hear, I believe this, I don't, again, we don't wanna be culturally insensitive, but I think this is a graveyard. It says in loving memory on some of these things. So I imagine these are people's ashes. I don't wanna like, hi. Hello, hello. Uh, do you speak English? A little bit. A little bit. This is a graveyard? Uh, usually no. Well, wh what's inside? Uh, nothing. It's empty. Empty? Oh, so it's like memory of people? Memory. memory. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, uh, the, the corpses are in Greenwood? Yeah, the, Greenwood. Okay. Yeah. They have only memory when the, when the uh, friend or cousin or father or mother want to visit, just come over here. So when they miss them, they come here. Do they put offerings? on the like do they put things there to give to their family like the flowers and yeah yeah okay uh -huh, yeah are you um are all of you guys 
from Thailand or from yeah. Laos? From Laos and Thailand. Laos are Tha- so just the two? Yeah. Okay. Laos, Thailand, and uh, yeah. It, no Cambodian or Vietnamese? No, Cambodia has a different temple. They have a different temple? Yeah. Okay, and do you guys like work together? You guys in the Cambodian temple? Like, do you yeah, guys yeah, communicate? We, yeah, we together. Yeah, we, we uh, together, yeah. But you do separately because of language? Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Actually, um, all, all the, the priests that are out here, are you guys, you guys came here as monks, right? Or yeah, monk, yeah. monk, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, um, do you guys make money here or does the, the temple provide everything? Uh, people. People, people yeah, so people. it's all donation, right? Donation, yeah. Okay. People, yeah. All right. We don't make any money. We don't, work, uh, we don't have a job. We don't work. You just uh, maintain here maintain, and clean? Yeah, just a uh, blessing for them. Okay, and yeah. if people want to give you food or give you money, how? What's the best way for them to do it? Uh, every time from Monday to Sunday. Monday to Sunday, yeah, if they yeah. just come here. Just come here, and then uh, they just, can uh, just give it to you guys. To donation to me and uh, to someone, or just a blessing for you, and uh, you know, some, do something like a blessing. Okay. Yeah, if you want to donate some water or food or some something, you know, whatever, no matter. Okay. Yeah. And you guys are open um, yeah. all day? All day. Okay. From uh, 7 to 7. 7 to 7? Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. No, open. Okay. Well, I think we've explored this place about as much as we can. And if you guys want a genuine Thai or slash Laotian Buddhist experience, come here, donate some food, donate some money, help these guys out. So that Buddhist temple was really nice to us and they showed us around, let us ring their gongs. So we so got a surprise for them. We decided to come to the store real quick. We got like 30 minutes before they close and we got them this. They said they don't have any dietary restrictions when Just we asked. no beer, no whiskey. That's what they said. Yep. Everything else is good to go. So we got lots of fruits, vegetables. They don't have meats here. So we went to this store, but yep. We're going to go give it to them. We're trying to make it there. We have about seven minutes, it says, on the clock to get there, and they close in 10. So we're going to rush our way over there. Hopefully they don't have the gate closed off because we just bought them all those groceries. And I definitely don't think we want them sitting in the trunk all night. So, yep, hopefully we'll make it there in time. We'll see you guys there, hopefully. All right, so we made it just in time. I came in here and I talked to them, and I told them that we got them some food. And uh, thankfully, they uh, opened back up for us and they just said, bring the car straight up here to the front of the temple. And so Fanny is, or Justin, is about to back the car up to the door, basically, because that's what they asked us to do. And yeah, we're gonna unload this food and let these fine gentlemen get about their day. So we're gonna help them unload right now. So I won't be able to video very much, but we'll grab what we can for right now. And actually, I'm just gonna, oh, here? Okay, my basket. Wow, you did that. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna have space for it all in the basket, but we can try. I'll, uh, I'll start a video in a second. Okay, so they, they said there's 19 monks. Oh, you're gonna do a blessing on it? Yeah. Okay, do you mind if I video it? Sure, yeah. Okay, sit down. Sit down. What's your name? Justin, Justin, how are you? Lane. Lane, okay. Justin, hold this one. Hold everything. Hold this one, okay. I'm going to give you a blessing, okay? I need to offer a two kilo, one or two for Tipa and a two to class, where I come here to be to console or to touch and tea. I use a tawa for long one long to Kanja, for Tipa and a two tea for you, Yapsawa Hoti, the tie at two for Sati, the Sasalo Kajini Mutosa for Santa. How was it also Pavera Mati Kantuni for Toja to one for what a TP yo you are sent to Paro Povina sent to Mate. Okay,
All right. Oh. I hope you guys all enjoy. <laughs>